On this channel, we review a lot of PC hardware and peripherals, and sometimes Jackson also ventures into some car content and some tool videos. But one thing we have not checked out recently is mobile devices, and today I'm going to be looking at a budget smartwatch from a seller called TomTop, introducing to you the Limfo LF18 smartwatch. Can this possibly be a good go-to option for tight spenders? Well, let's talk about that. All right, so what does $50 get you? Well, the Limfo, which I'm going to call it for the rest of this video just for ease of talking, is actually not just a pairing device. It comes with support for a micro SIM with data connectivity. Very interesting feature that I won't be testing due to the lack of having a micro SIM to use. The build quality of this watch is not half bad. The band is not changeable, which I kind of expected, and does come in only one color, a midnight blue finish, which does look pretty nice but I would have loved to seen a more neutral color set, either a black or white version, but blue isn't half bad. The watch is IP55 rated, so it can handle a few splashes here and there of water without dying on you. In theory, that is. The band is decent as well, with a ton of adjustment points for a pretty nice fit. It isn't too big on the wrist to stand out and be obnoxious, and it does have a very minimalistic design that could go with a lot of different styles, but I do harp back again to the color options, really should have been black and white. The watch is controlled via a touchscreen and two buttons on the side, one for power that doubles as a screen lock if you don't have the flip gesture enabled, and the other as a back button for navigation. The screen itself is a 1.3 inch touchscreen with a 240 by 240 resolution, a lackluster resolution but it gets the job done. The touch is actually very responsive, I was very surprised to see how well a watch like this could handle touch in many different locations very well. For testing this watch, I was using an iPhone 7 Plus, which it states it does support in the documentation, more on that later. But as far as Android functionality goes, I can safely say it performs about the same from using a friend's Galaxy S7 for a little bit to test this watch. The pairing process at first was a bit confusing, but then I did realize you need to download an app to get all the functionality instead of pairing just via Bluetooth. This was very helpful because with this app, it actually allowed the watch to receive notifications from iMessage. While not being able to reply to them, this is still a really awesome feature that some smartwatches can't even do. You also get access to a few different watch faces that are preloaded, and even the typical health suite of functions like heart rate monitor, pedometer, and sleep monitor. All these features do their job and they work pretty well. Now all this seems fine and dandy, but what is day to day usage like? Well, here is where some of those negatives come in. The watch at times totally misses to send some notifications, like for some reason it just doesn't push any of them to the watch. This may have to do with some of the questionable support that I mentioned earlier about iOS, mainly because I couldn't test Android to confirm if this was a cross-platform issue, but I really do lean towards this being an iOS version issue. Another less than enjoyable thing that this watch does is even when I'm plugged in via auxiliary to let's say a car speaker and this watch is connected via Bluetooth, the watch still insists on playing audio out of the watch speaker randomly and just off and on unpairing. It's very, very annoying. At one point, I even had this watch develop a mind of its own and try to play music out of its speaker in let's just say a less than ideal moment in time. I'll let you all use your imagination on that one. So how about battery life? Well, the watch advertises about a one week standby time, which honestly, if you didn't have the flip gesture enabled, which will probably kill most of the battery life, you could probably make that happen. I got roughly five days on standby with a few glances while on a trip. So overall, what would I say about this smartwatch? Well, to be perfectly honest with you, I can't recommend it. For $50, you are really spending a lot to get something that is super half-baked. While it does justify that price in terms of build quality and battery life, it really falls apart in the apparent lackluster operating system that they threw onto this device. That being said, if you could get this watch for let's say $30, I would honestly recommend it for those who want to give smartwatches a shot on the cheap. It did pique my interest as someone who has never owned a smartwatch, and just having the notification abilities on my wrist really sold it to me, only if that system actually worked most of the time. 
But that about wraps things up here, guys. If you like this video, leave a like down below and comment what you think. If you haven't already, join our Discord community and follow us on Twitter for more content from the Toasty Bros. And if you're interested in this watch, be sure to check the description down below to Tom Top's website. You can buy the watch there and also browse around their website a little bit. They have some really awesome products on there as well that are pretty budget oriented and their shipping rates are very affordable and the products are very affordable as well. So I highly recommend you give them a look. And I hope to see you on the next one, guys. Peace out.